The framers of the Constitution did a great job setting up three branches of government. Congress absolutely still matters. And let me say I'm honored to be here with Congressman Renacci, although I suspect we have different views on the president. And I have very low expectations for the president's speech tonight. I hope he meets them. And as a baseline, I just want the president to stop lying and making stuff up. The Washington Post has already documented 133 false and misleading statements from our president. That's not acceptable. So what are you going to do about it, Congress? What can you do about it? We can expose, and the free press is one of the great institutions of our democracy, exposing his false and misleading statements. We need to do more. They do, do it all more. the time. They fact check every day. Every single day I can read about fact check. The New York Times is bragging to me about all the truth that they're going to tell me. But do you really think that's moving the needle, sir? I mean, when, when you survey people who voted for him, they're very happy with his performance at this point. Well, and again, I would just say that uh, coming from Ohio, and I'm, I'm glad to hear the congressman who actually used to live in my district, Ohioans supported uh, President Trump because he said what he's going to do, and now he's doing what he said he was going to do. And I think that's so important. The American people, look, he wasn't an orator. He's not someone, he's a businessman. I was a businessman also for 30 years. Sometimes you don't say exactly what you mean, but you're trying to get information out, and he's trying to get things done. And I think the American people are happy with that. I'm hoping to hear that tonight. I'm hoping to hear some of the things that he wants to continue to do. Up to this point, I heard you ask the question, he's been doing a lot of things, overturning rules. Soon he's going to have to work with Congress on tax reform, and, uh, and repeal and reforming of the Affordable Care Act. This is where we need, as colleagues here in the House and in the Senate, need to be able to work with him to get some things Representative done. Representative Renazzi, we hear that the agenda is dead, that there's so much infighting, it can't get done, the border adjustment tax is dead in the Senate, everything's going to get stuck in a quagmire of Obamacare. Six months from now, are we going to have tax reform? Well, I don't believe we will, because one thing that Donald Trump is going to realize is he needs to understand math. He can't increase defense spending, increase infrastructure spending, provide health care for everybody, and lower taxes. I was on the budget committee. The math just doesn't add up. So tonight, I hope he explains how he's going to balance the budget. Otherwise, it's going to blow a hole through our federal deficit and federal I'm debt. I'm so glad to hear Democrats so concerned about that at this point. Well, I am, too, and I'm glad to hear that as well. We do have to look at our budget, but at the same time, we have to make a more to make America great again. We got to make it competitive again. We're going to have to look at our tax rates. We have the highest tax rate in the world. Companies are leaving because our tax rate is too high. So we have to reform our tax code. We have to reduce our tax rates. Remember, the corporate tax income is only 10 percent of the total amount coming to the Treasury. Ninety percent is from employment. We have to get employment up. We have to make sure that our corporations are willing to stay here. And do business here and employ people. What here. do you guys? I, what, but what, are you going to get tax reform done, though? I mean, is it going to happen, even though there's all this infighting about the border adjustment tax, et cetera? Democrats will support Renazzi. middle class tax cuts. Yeah, and I do believe that in the end, we're going to work together to get some things done. America knows we need to reduce tax rates on not, not only middle class Americans, but we also have to make sure our businesses are willing to stay here. So, so with that in mind, we're going to work together. I do think. Uh, there will be a lot of changes in, in the next couple months as we work together. We're going to get bipartisan support, and we'll ultimately have a tax, pack, tax package that's going to be good, as my colleague said, for middle Americans. Keep in mind, the Republicans are the establishment now. They control the White House. The Republicans control Congress. Executive orders simply enforce laws that Congress has passed. For the president to move the country forward, he needs to pass laws through Congress. He's shown very little willingness to work with Democrats, to work with the Congress. So I hope tonight that he shows a willingness to speak to the majority of Americans who did not support him. I hope he's inclusive, and I hope he does that in his speech tonight. Well, I would also, I would yeah, also Congressman Racy, what are you what are you working on? If you are the you're you're the ruling party on, on both sides of the hill, what's well, job one? In Ways and Means, we're looking at uh, tax reform. We're also looking at repeal and repair of the Affordable Care Act. I disagree, though, that the president has been bringing people into the White House, manufacturers, farmers. He's been bringing in uh, union. And so he's talking to the people, trying to come up. Remember, he's only been there 30 days. And I think as a business guy, he's listening. He's doing what Washington doesn't do enough of, which is listen, take in information, and get things done. And I think you're going to see him doing that over the next couple of months. But here's what we're doing. We're going to continue to work on tax reform. We're going to continue to work on repeal and reforming the Affordable Care Act. 
we're going to continue to look at reducing regulations and getting the economy growing again for those middle class Americans. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.